Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. Welcome to the advanced portion of the show. Here we are in class number one. Really excited to finally get going on the air. So welcome. So as you as you should know, you have to be following along and repeating out loud, practicing all these structures. So you have your student guide. So following the student guide, following the show on television and following the radio to get the most out of this 4.0 program. So What we're doing here today, I'm going to start by introducing my guest. I have a special guest today, a guest student, who's a friend of mine, a guy that I know who has a very high level. Now, I must say, I must say, we're not always going to have guests, but we will have guests occasionally. Some days we will, and some days we won't. And if you would like to be a guest, I've mentioned this in the earlier segments, in the, in the beginner and in the intermediate, if you would like to be a guest, write to me, write in through the website and say, hey, Kyle, I'd like to be a guest on the program and I'll do my best to get you on. Okay, but I'd like to introduce Mario. Mario's with me. How are you, Mario? Yeah, I'm fine. Hello, Kyle. Good, good, good. I, well, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. And Mario, I know you have a very good level of English. Do you think that the listeners at home are going to be able to keep up? I'm sure they are going to be able to keep up with w my with your level of English and with my With your okay, <laughs> but you've got you've got a good level. Will they be able to stand the pace? Yes. You have to stand the pace. I I I I certainly hope so. So let's get started. Okay, good luck to everyone at home. We're going to get started with some negative questions. Okay? Okay. So ask me why, Mario. I'm going to say, I'm going to give you a sentence, and you're going to ask me why. So he's not here. Why is he not here? Why is he not? Or what we can say, why, why isn't, isn't he? Why isn't he here? Why isn't he here? Right. Why isn't he? With the contraction, right? Why say isn't he here? Why isn't he here? Right. Okay. I'm not Spanish. Why aren't you Spanish? Yeah. Why? Why? Why aren't you Spanish? Again? Why aren't you Spanish? Pronunciation. What? That's right. Pay special attention to the pronunciation here because we say aren't. It's one syllable. Natives always pronounce this as one syllable, aren't, aren't. Whereas my students, many of my students say aren't. But it has to be aren't. Okay, Mario? Aren't. So, Kyle, why aren't you Spanish? Ask me again. Kyle. Why aren't you Spanish? Why aren't you Spanish? Well, I'm not. I'm not Spanish because I'm. Do you Canadian. know Canadian? I'm Canadian. <laughs> yes, that's right. So they're not at the party. Why aren't they at the party? Yeah. Why aren't they? Why, Why aren't, aren't they, they at the party? At the party. Good. Good. It isn't sunny. Why isn't it sunny? Good. She isn't living in the upstairs apartment anymore. Why isn't she living in the upstairs apartment anymore? Good, good. He's not with us anymore. Why? He's not with us. He's not with us okay. anymore. Why isn't he with us? We. Why isn't he with us? He's not with us yeah, anymore. Yeah, he's, he's not with us. He's somewhere no. else. Why isn't, why isn't he... Why isn't he with us? Yeah, anymore. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> why, why isn't he why isn't he with us anymore? Right? Why isn't he with us anymore? Now, interesting here, I'd like to mention this. Um, he is not. We always use the contraction he's not or he isn't, right? So we have and you you you, you said it perfect, but I want to mention that because it's interesting. We have two ways to to do that contraction, right? He's not Or he isn't, right? He's not with us anymore. He isn't with us anymore. Why isn't he with us anymore? Okay, you aren't wearing the same uniform as the last time. You aren't wearing... Yeah, you aren't wearing the same uniform as the last time. Why am I not wearing the same uniform? Yeah, why... Or why... As the, yeah. as the last why time. Why am I not wearing the same uniform as last time? I don't know. 
Okay, so remember at home, please remember to follow along. Please follow the drill out loud at home. All right? He's not learning as much as he could. Mario? Why isn't he learning as much as he could? Because he's not studying as much as he should. Why isn't he studying as much as he should? Yeah, because he's not prioritizing his time. Why isn't he prioritizing his time? Because he isn't aware of the importance of learning the language. Why isn't he aware of the importance of learning a language? Yeah, the language. The language. Yeah, the English Uh, language, right? (laughs) The language. (laughs) That's right. Uh, Because his wife isn't constantly reminding him of the importance. Why isn't his wife constantly reminding him the importance? Reminding him of of the, the importance, importance of the language of the thank you of <laughs> the importance. Why isn't his wife constantly reminding him of the importance? Okay, because they aren't living together anymore. Why aren't they living together anymore? All right, very good. Expression of the day. All right, yes, expression of the day. Our expression of the day today, Mario, are you ready for this? Yes, I am. And at home, are you ready? Con mucha diferencia. How do you say that? Con mucha diferencia, by far. By far, yes, by far. Is English by far the most important language in the world? (laughs) Let's be honest, Mario. Is it? Yes, it is by far the most important language in the world. Okay, right. So how do you say Pablo es con mucha diferencia el mejor de la clase? Pablo is by far the best in the class. Yes, Pablo is by far. Con mucha diferencia, by far. Well done. Okay, the expression of the day. That is not in your guide little bonus material for you, folks, so please pay attention to that. Let's move on to 1.2 in your student guide. Some negative questions in the past. In the past, the same drill, but in the past, still with the verb to be. I wasn't in Canada last week. Ask me why. Why weren't you in Canada last week? Good. You weren't with us when they arrived. Why you weren't? You weren't with us when they arrived. Why Why wasn't I with us? Wait, with you? Yeah, with Why me. wasn't I with you when you arrived? Okay, he wasn't as good as we thought he would be. Why he wasn't as good as... We... Ooh, be careful of the word. Or why, why, wasn't, was... why wasn't he as good as, as we thought uh, he would be? He would be, right. She wasn't looking for a new job. Why wasn't she looking for a new job? Good. He wasn't working when I got to the office. He wasn't. He wasn't working when I got to the office. Why wasn't he working when I got to the office? Okay, very good. And again at home, you're following along, right? Out loud, repeating always out loud at home. Good job, good job. Okay, let's let's keep going, Mario. We weren't looking for the books. Why weren't we looking for the job? The books. Ah, well, for the books? We weren't looking. For, why weren't we looking for the books? They weren't fixing it. Why weren't they fixing it? Good. Pedro wasn't helping us very much. Why wasn't Pedro helping us very much? Yes. I wasn't... Okay, for you at home, for you at home, I wasn't here last week. Why weren't you here last week? Very good, very good. Uh, It wasn't as good as we expected. At home? Why wasn't it as good as we expected? Right, Mario? Okay. Good. Do you think they got that one at home? I'm sure. I yeah. hope so. Yeah. They're, pretty, sure. they're pretty good. These advanced pretty good. students yeah. following along. Okay, good. One more, Mario. Um, he wasn't trying his hardest. Why wasn't he trying his hardest? Okay, very good. Let's move on now to the vocabulary of the day. All right, did you hear that? Yes, yes, it is time to take a little pause in our lesson to take a look at the vocabulary of the day. So we had, uh, we have here to lift, Mm. to lift. What does that mean? To lift, to pick something, something up from, oh no, to pick something. um, Well, to pick it up, levantar, you say in Spanish, right? Levantar. So um, can you, can you pick this table up over your head? Can you, can you lift it? No, I can't lift it over my head. No. Can you lift it? Can you lift it off the ground? It's a very heavy table. Off the ground, yeah. Can you lift it off the ground? I might lift it off 
the ground. But I don't can, know. can you? Yes, I can. Okay. <laughs> I can lift it off the ground. All right. So we have to lift. And then we have to fire. What does to that mean? Fire. To fire. To lay off somebody. Okay. To, but, to, but. to lay somebody yes. off. From a from, from a job. A, from a job. But to, yeah, to lay off can be a little bit different, though. Yeah. To, to fire, fire is with, is, without because you. It's their fault yeah. when you fire someone. You were stealing money from us. You're fired, and we fire the person. But maybe we have to lay them off because the economy's not going yeah. very well. Sorry, you're a great worker. You've been laid off because the economy's not very good. To make somebody redundant. Yes, also. Nice, <laughs> nice. Nice level. Well done. Well, done. Now, to fire is also with a gun, right? How do you say that in yeah. Spanish? To disparar a alguien. Disparar, yeah. So to fire, you fire the gun, yeah. To fire, like to shoot, right? But you fire at somebody. Yeah, you fire oh. a gun. And you fire the gun at, well, at somebody, or at a target, Mario. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you fire at, but okay, a target or, or okay. yeah, heaven forbid. Okay. And then we have... How do you say orno in English? Oven. Uh, oh, sorry? Oven. 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 Of. Oven. 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 Again? Oven. Oven. Oven? No, no. Oven. 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 Okay, good. Orno. Oven. Okay, adivinar? To guess. To guess. To guess. All right. So, can you, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. Can you guess what it is? I'll try. Yeah. Yes, I think I can guess. You are thinking about... Um, well, you're thinking... You of, are thinking of... Thank you. Six? No, no, <laughs> no. You you guessed wrong. You guessed wrong, Mario. I, I was thinking of the number... Iker, do you know what number I'm thinking of? Between one and ten? Guess, guess. Five. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> I'm thinking of the number seven. Mm. I'm thinking of we the number really seven. We had five and six, but no, it was seven. Seven, which is a special number in Spain, right? Uh, Raúl. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Villa. <laughs> Villa, yeah. Seven. <laughs> it's a good number. Anyhow. Okay, and then uh, means. Well, to, the verb to mean or to mean. it means it's different. significa, ah. right? Yeah. It means, yeah. So what does this mean? So what does it mean when you tap your hand on your wrist in Spain? I'm making this motion. What, what does that mean? We should leave. We should leave. <laughs> vamos, vamos. Let's go. I never knew what that was. When I first came to Spain, uh, I never knew what that meant. I, I was in a, a bar one time, and a, a Spanish friend started doing that. And I said, what are you, what are you doing? And he said, it means, vamos, let's, let's go. So that's what it means, right? Okay, good. All right, time to move on to the third part of our class. Here we are. And we're going to take a look at this structure, tan algo que. So in English, we say so, adjective, that, right? So if I say my book is very big, I can't fit it in my pocket, then you can say your book is so big that... You couldn't. You, you can't. You, that you can't fit it in your pocket. In your pocket, yeah. El libro es muy grande. No me lo puedo meter en el bolsillo, right? Now, so the ceiling is very high. I can't touch it. The ceiling is so high that you can't touch it. Exactly. The ceiling is so high that I can't touch it. The sandwich is very big. I can't eat it all. <laughs> right? The sandwich is so big that you can't eat it all. Yes. Okay. So at home, what are our listeners doing at home, Mario? At home. What are they doing? They should practice. They practice. They practice and repeat out and loud. Repeat. Yeah. En voz alta, right? Repeating, yeah. repeating, practicing, studying, and working hard at the content, right? This is the key. It is the key. Practice makes perfect. Okay. The day is very hot. Okay. At home. The day is very hot. I can't go outside. Mario? The day is so hot that I can't go out. Go out, go outside. Yeah, hot. The day is so hot that I can't go outside. outside. The day is so hot that I can't go outside. Okay. The car is very expensive. I can't buy it. The car is so expensive that I can't buy it. Yeah, the car is so expensive that I can't buy it. Good. This radio show is very interesting. <laughs> I can't stop listening. Right, Mario? <laughs> yes. That's what everyone is saying at home. 
this radio show is so interesting yeah. that I can't stop listening, Good. listening it, listening to it. Listening. 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 It's so interesting that I can't stop listening. It's this radio show is so interesting that I can't stop listening. Okay. The course is great. I can't imagine not taking it. The course is so great that I can't imagine not taking it. Not taking not take it. it. Not taking it. Not taking it. I can't imagine not taking it. Again? The course is so great that I can't imagine not taking it. Yeah, I can't imagine not taking it. Not taking, not taking it. it. Again. Not taking it. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. The book is boring. I can't read it. It's like I try Oof. to read uh, Don Quixote <laughs> in Spanish. I'm not going to lie to you, Mario. It's going on. I, I picked it up and I thought, all right, page. It's only a thousand two hundred pages or whatever. I picked it up, page one, and I, then after a, I got to the part of you know, a few pages in, I said this. I said to myself, the book is boring. I can't read it. So what 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 did I say basically? The book is so boring. That I can't read it. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, very good, very good. Not with Don Quixote. Not with Don Quixote. I shouldn't, in, I shouldn't say anything seller. negative about Don Quixote, <laughs> but anyway, okay. Okay, uh, the, your day is very hectic. You don't have time to eat lunch. Oof. Your day is so het- hectic that you, you don't have time to, to have lunch, to eat lunch. Yeah, to, your, your day is so hectic that you don't have time to eat lunch. Mm. All right. Folks, thank you so much. We're actually finished our class today. Time flies when you're having fun, right, Mario? Yes, that's that's right. Okay, we are finished. Thank you so much for joining me for the first show. We will be back for more tomorrow. Keep studying, keep listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>